want the unanimous decision, as your friend Colt Cabana put it, uh, against your former employer in the defamation lawsuit. Well, what does that mean, the fact that you're finally vindicated after all these years, four years? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know if I have the words. I don't know if it would properly convey. I also don't know if I fully flushed out exactly how I feel. Uh, I do know it was probably the first time, maybe not the first time, but definitely, you know, one of three times or something like that where I I actually lost control of my emotions. You know, I always try to stay pretty even keel and, and locked in the moment, but when you're waiting for a judge to utter words that literally decide the course of the rest of your life, and I didn't contemplate, well, what happens if I lose? Because losing wasn't an option, not because of any other reason except because I told the truth. But the legal system can be confusing and having to have sat there for days and days and days and, you know, listen to the way they try to bend things to fit certain laws that are all just confusing and stuff that, are, you know, I'm out of my element and I'm just like sitting there just like scared out of my mind. You know, and my wife is there, and I'm just, I'm standing up, and I'm looking at everybody, and all of a sudden, like, everything's just, like... Double whammy victory in the pipeline for CM Punk, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Fight, shout out to MMA Fighting SBN. I don't know what the SBN stands for. Please, Austin. <laughs> um, shout out to Ariel Helwani. I'm a huge fan of his, um, despite the, the Dana White beef. Yeah, man, I think this could be the start of the energy train that's going to lead to a CM Punk victory within the UFC. Why? I heard Mike Jackson speak. That guy is too confident for what he's going to do, especially given the fact that the experience level, his and CM Punk's experience level, is nearly identical. The, the guy that beat, the guy they have in common is uh, Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall beat both of them. And, um, yeah, man, I, I just think he's too confident, Mike Jackson, that is, for what's about to happen. A tad bit arrogant, if you ask me, simply because he's not that experienced, you know. I, I'd understand if he had, like, a little more, way, a little, a truckload more experience or maybe uh, experience within a certain martial art, more experience within a certain martial art, but he doesn't. And, you know, if CM Punk can carry this momentum into his fight, you know, him winning his case against the WWE, then I'm pretty sure he can carry this momentum into a victory, man. You know, they just need a proper, proper game plan, man. They need a proper, proper game plan. You know, not even decent superstar golden coaching plus a proper game plan. They could win this, man. Win this by decision, even. As for me watching this, I doubt I will. Uh, if I do, it won't last for... It's a main event, right? So that's five rounds. I'm probably going to tap out round two. Simply because I'm not interested in this fight, you know. Um, I don't have anything against both men. It's just... They're not that experienced. It'll be like me watching 1FC expecting to see something spectacular, you know. But then, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. This hit a spot because Tucky says he's supposed to set up shop here. Hmm? Hash die. Yeah, this is it. Set up anywhere inside where we got the white flags.